think they're going to call this one long run, short catch. Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. All right, listen to this. A Jamaican lecturer has been linked by scientific evidence, DNA, to sexual and other criminal offenses in the United States of America, according to American authorities who have requested his extradition. Russell McLean, who is a behavioral and social sciences lecturer at the Northern Caribbean University in Mandeville, is wanted in Florida for allegedly committing some offenses that date all the way back to 1997. In other words, then, he did some things in the United States of America and thought he got away with it. Dates back to 1997 and DNA has now connected him to these things. He is wanted in the state of Florida in the United States of America. Jamaican authorities have disclosed this in the corporate area criminal courts on Tuesday, according to the Jamaica Gleaner. Hmm. A behavioral and social sciences lecturer, you know. McLean was arrested in Mandeville last week. Local law enforcement has confirmed, according to the Gleaner. He waived his rights to an extradition hearing and he agreed to go to the U.S. to face his charges of armed sexual battery, armed burglary of a dwelling, armed kidnapping, burglary, possession of burglary tools, and resisting law enforcement with violence. Boy, I know. There are also other extradition requests for other Jamaicans, and in the same article they talked about Damian Clark and Damon Oakley, two other Jamaicans. Clark is wanted in New York on three counts of indictment that charges him with distributing and possessing with the intent to distribute over five kilograms of cocaine. So his is a drug charge, right? Possession of a handgun with the serial number shaved off. When the serial number is shaved off of the gun, that means, say, it's a ghost gun that you clap somebody with that and they can't trace it, right? Even if they find the gun. So the serial number was erased off his gun and carrying a firearm in relation to drug trafficking crime is his charges. The indictment, his indictment was filed all the way in September of 2004. And they're still coming for him now today. Oakley is wanted in Pennsylvania on 16 counts to lottery scamming, which was filed in the courts in Pennsylvania in June of 2021. Remember, we told you, sir, they said that there were going to be a lot of extraditions coming down, especially in the lotto scamming arena. Well, here is one. They filed it last year. And he's wanted on 16 counts and they're coming for him as well. Well, he went before the judge and said, I'm confused. I don't really understand these charges. So the judge explained the charges to him and all the men have said, okay, forget, just send me. Clark and Oakley also waived their rights along with McLean. Investigations into the allegations against the lecturer now, Mr. McLean, those investigations went cold for 13 years before the detectives got a breakthrough, according to documents disclosed in court supporting the extradition request. U.S. authorities charged that the DNA tests were conducted in 2010. Remember, I know from 2007 his incident went down you know and um actually it's from 1997 not 2007 i stand corrected in two in 1997 incidents took place involving him and in 2010 boy if anything you can call this one long run short catch u.s authorities charged that in 2010 they conducted some DNA tests and it linked him to other criminal offenses, prompting these investigators to reopen that case, the burglary sexual battery case, 
and the DNA linked him to that case as well. I don't know if he was here being a lecturer and breaking houses and raping at the same time, or was this an issue of, because sometimes you have domestic issues and when the charges come around, you know, an ex you tell don't come back to the house no more, but they have their own keys and they didn't give you the key or even though they returned your key, they made a copy for themselves and they came in at a time when they were not given permission to come in. That charge on paper could look like his charges that he has now breaking and entering um, in possession of burglary tools. Anything that you use to open a door is called burglary tools other than the keys, so on and so forth. But the way how this is painted is as if he wore a mask, dressed in all black, in the middle of the night, broke into houses, committed sexual battery, and then left at gunpoint and these kind of things. So we don't know the intricate details of his case. All we know is that he is a lecturer and a highly educated individual, and he works at the Northern Caribbean University in Mandeville as a lecturer. He has worked there for quite some time well over a decade and now he is about to be extradited to the u.s to face charges according to the unsealed extradition documents american law enforcement agents resumed their pursuit of mclean after the dna tested came back saying yep that's him that's your guy they got a tip Someone told them that, hey, he's living in Jamaica, man. You got to go find him. Now, is he a born Jamaican? I don't know. Because it says a Jamaican lecturer. But it doesn't mean that he's Jamaican. He could have migrated to the island years ago and used all his credentials and got his job at the university and started lecturing there. Right? But, however... Because that was the first place I think law would have looked. He's Jamaican. He might have ran back to Jamaica. Let's go look in Jamaica. So I don't know why it would have taken them that long to find him if they were really looking for him. Remember, the DNA test results that link him to whatever crimes and other crimes they said on the books. The DNA test that links us is a, is a serial rapist or what? Anyways, the DNA um, test results came back in 2010 that linked him to these other crimes that he's accused of. See? So if they're looking for him since 2010, it wouldn't have been hard to find him. However, they weren't able to find him because apparently they weren't looking in the right places until they received a tip recently, ending of last year, that, hey, he's residing in Jamaica and he's lecturing at a university. According to the Gleaner, they reached out to the university president and manager, but so far they have gotten no answers. Hmm. Why? I don't know. Long run, short catch. Seems like what it is. Hey, you know what? If that's the case, that's what it is. Go face your music, massa, and make good of it. According to the Observer, McLean, the lecturer in the College of Humanities, Behavioral and Social Sciences at the private Seventh-day Adventist-run university that is formerly known as West Indies College. And he has been a lecturer there for the last 18 years. Hmm. Wish him all the best. These are the kind of evidence that we ask for. If DNA links you to it, there's no arguing about it. Unless, you're, unless your lawyer is going to argue that someone placed your DNA at the scene and you can prove that you were somewhere else. Someone is trying to be malicious, trying to set you up. Other than that, if they can prove that you were at the scene and your DNA was left at the scene or you were in that area, you know... Your cell phone can pretty much ping off of some tower somewhere that says, yep, he was in that area where that crime was committed. Uh-huh, that's only suspicion that you might have committed it. But we have his DNA right there on that body. 
that's a whole different story. Now you have to explain the rest of that. May he have his day in court. Long run, short catch. Wish him all the best. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Have you done anything that you think might come back to haunt you? Because this is what this is. And I look forward to all the rest of the extraditions that are coming down the pipeline because there are quite a few Jamaicans who will be flying out of Jamaica, private jet style, with jewelry on, to go face charges in the US. You better not be one of them. Catch you on the next video with SoFlo TV. I'm out. Peace. If you like Jamaican food, but you're struggling to cook it the right way, then here's a channel that gives it to you step by step. It's Eat Good TV, y'all. You are guaranteed to be able to cook Jamaican food like a real Jamaican from this channel called Eat Good TV. Just go to Eat Good TV, hit that subscribe button, and tell her I sent you. All right, listen, so you started a business, right? Whether it's a brick and mortar business or a business online. How is your business doing? Is it doing well? Do you need promotions? You cannot afford to start a business and not do promotions. Promotions is what it's all about. Some people have a big budget, that way they can spend a whole lot of money on these huge platforms, MSNBC, NBC, CNN, all those. Your budget might not be that. Those are million dollar budgets. At the same time, you can still reach a demographic of people that might be interested in your business. And how do you do that? You do that by piggybacking on one of these channels that the core audience of that channel is also the type of people you are trying to reach with your business. It works, okay? Hook up, give me a call, or shoot me an email, and let's get your promo going right now. I don't care what business it is, I can send people to you. Now, before we go, let me say this. I am not guaranteeing you a certain amount of subscribers. You are the one that will have to, or I'm not guaranteeing you a certain amount of people that will come. You are the one that has to continue to push your business. Okay, with you promoting your business yourself and me promoting your business for you, there's no way you can't win. So give me a call right now or shoot me an email and let's work this out. So let this one pass you. Call right now. Email right now. Let's get this moving. Promotions, promotions, promotions. That's what it's all about.